Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Astvatatul Petrosian, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia. If the blockade continues, we will have serious energy problems in autumn and winter. Ombudsman of Artsakh, Canada Artsakh Parliamentary Friendship Group elects new co-chairs. Artsakh's president met with a group of members of Artsakh Azatamartik Union. Armen Grigorian, the fact of no recognition of Azerbaijani aggression against the sovereign territory of Armenia is groundless. The Union Francophonia on Artsakh has issued a statement of support for the Republic of Artsakh. Today's hero of the column, natives of Western Armenia, is a prominent figure of the Artsakh Liberation War, Astvatatur Petrosian, who played a significant role in the movement that showed unwavering dedication to his homeland and the military cause. Astvatatur Avetikovich Petrosian was born on December 8, 1952, in Yerevan, in the village High Pump of Spitak region of the Armenian SSR, now Lerna Park community of Aragatoton region. He graduated from the local eight year school with honors, then in 1970, graduated from the Kirovakan eight-year secondary school after Gabriel Sundukyan. From 1975 to 1978, he was seconded to the branch of Moscow Aircraft Plan No. 2 in Yampol, Vinitsa, region USSR where he worked as a process engineer and later as a senior engineer in metallography and heat treatment technology. In 1987, he graduated with honors from the All-Union Higher Courses of Qualification in Metrology and Modern Measurements of Tbilisi Institute. The author of dozens of articles, monographs, scientific discoveries, inventions and contributions, beginning with the defense of his diploma on the scientific theme of RPI, author of a number of articles on the National Liberation Movement of 1990. Under Petrosian's guidance, from 1995 to 2007, he has published articles on military history, military science, military security, military strategy articles, monographs, public history materials, books and pamphlets. As a military advisor, has consulted on the books and films Suicide, Duron, Najde, Sardarabad, Basha Parant. During the period of 1988 to 1991, he actively participated in the Artsakh movement. He served as the chairman of the Artsakh Committee almost and was later elected deputy chairman of military council. He also served as a coordinator of the information department of the Karabakh committee. The full article is available on our website. European traveler archaeologist Robert Kerr Porter, who visited Juha in the early 19th century, noted, I will not exaggerate if I say that thousands of tombstones on the ancient Armenian tribe stood out in this tomb. The various memories that come to mind on this private plot of land in the east suggest that one is walking through a huge cemetery. After the transfer of Juha in 1648, traveler Alexander Rhodes, passing through Juha, stated that there were about 10 thousand well-preserved cross stones. Three centuries after Shah Abbas, a new ruthless hand comes to destroy the cemetery. In the 20th century, the region became part of Tsarist Russia, and the construction of the railroad led to significant destruction. The deafening explosions of mines made those who witnessed it think that this was the second hurricane to ravage old Juha. In 1914, the talented painter Marty Rosarian, after visiting this cemetery, wrote, In Julfa, we marveled at the brilliant crossstones of Juha. There was a railroad going through the wood of crossstones. The crossstones struck me with their unique artistic value, amazing variety of motifs and rhythms. At the same time, I was shocked when I saw that some of them had been destroyed during the building of the railroad. In the 1920s and 1930s, the South Caucasus was forcefully Sovietized, and Nakhijevan and Artsakh were annexed to Baku. It should be noted that towards the end of the 20th century, the Baku authorities began systematically destroying Armenian Khachkars and other Armenian cultural heritage in the territory of Nakhijevan. By the order of Azerbaijani authorities, the destruction of the Juha cemetery began in November 1998. And on November 9, 2002, the cultural genocide resumed. Some of the cross stones and tombstones in the shape of an areas were destroyed, while others were moved in an unknown direction. According to photos taken by eyewitnesses from the Iranian side of the Araxa River in the autumn of the same year, not a single standing cross stone remained in the cemetery. 
If the blockade continues, serious energy problems can be expected in Artsakh in autumn and winter. This was stated by Geram Stepanian, the human rights defender of the Republic of Artsakh, speaking about the energy crisis in Artsakh and the emptying of the Sarsang Reservoir on the air of Alpha News. The international community is aware of this. The day before, both I and other officials from Artsakh had a meeting with a high-ranking foreign official to whom we presented the problem of the Sarsang Reservoir. The meeting was of a consultative nature. I cannot provide any details, but all existing and expected threats were presented, including at our yesterday's meetings, Stepanian said. Talking about the international community's silence on the environmental disaster, Artsakh Ombudsman said that six months of blockade showed that the agenda of the protection of human rights and freedoms declared in the international relation yields to the agenda of economic political interest of the status and is not considered a priority in any way. Let's remind as a result of blockade of Artsakh by Azerbaijan since December 12, 2022, the energy crisis began in the Republic. To mitigate which the HPC built on the Sarsang Reservoir began to work in an unprecedented mode, as a result of which the reservoir is almost dehydrated today. The Canada Artsakh Parliamentary Friendship Group held its annual meeting in Ottawa. The meeting emphasized the importance of strengthening ties between the people of Artsakh and Canadian parliamentaries, providing a platform for constructive dialogue on the aspirations of the people of Artsakh for peace and harmony. During the session, Senator Leo Usakos and Deputy Rachel Thomas were elected co-chair of the group and Deputy Alexander Bulleris was elected vice chair. The statement on Twitter reads, the group will be a source of hope and encouragement for the people of the region and will allow the people of Artsakh to engage with Canadian MPC, tell their stories and discuss their values of respect, tolerance and human rights. The government of Western Armenia expresses its satisfaction with the work of the annual session of the Canadian Parliament's Canada Artsakh Parliamentary Friendship Group. We welcome the decision of the Canadian advisors to continue the work of the friendly group aimed at the peace of the people of Artsakh and cooperation with Canadian legislators. Canada should set an example for Artsakh and the people of Artsakh in their difficult struggle to preserve their identity and rights. On June 8, President of the Republic of Artsakh, Aray Karuchinyan, met with a group of members of the Artsakh Azad Amartik Union, the Afghan War Veterans Union and the Reserve Officers Union. The head of the state introduced the military and political situation, spoke about the policy of the authorities aimed at the security of Artsakh. The president praised the input, knowledge and experience of the structures present at the meeting in strengthening the defense and security of the homeland, expressing their readiness to use them in vitro areas of Artsakh. Secretary of the RA Security Council Armen Grigorian spoke on June 8 at a regular meeting of the Council of Security Secretaries of CSTO member states. Addressing the security challenges in the region, the Security Council Secretary noted that Azerbaijan continues its policy of using force or threatening to use force and tries to fail to implement previously reached agreements the press service of the Armenian Security Council staff reports. Azerbaijan continues to exacerbate the situation not only on the Armenian-Azerbaijani border, but also in Artsakh and in the Berzor Road. Grigorian also noted that the fact on no recognition of Azerbaijani aggression against the sovereign territory of Armenia and the attempt to link it to failure to the demarcation process of the Armenian-Azerbaijani border is unfounded. Armen Grigorian called on his colleagues to give a clear and purposeful assessment of the situation in Artsakh and take effective steps to prevent ethnic cleansing of the 120,000 Armenians living in Artsakh. In this context, the creation of an international mechanism for ensuring the right and security of the people of Artsakh remains a priority for Armenia. The organization Francophonie in Artsakh has adopted a declaration of support for the Republic of Artsakh. According to Artsakh Press, the announcement stated that the Union has supported the Republic of Artsakh since September 2, 1991 in the uncertain context of current threatening pressures on the Republic of Armenia. The Union Francophonie in Artsakh urges France to assume its responsibilities by supporting direct negotiations between the government of Stepanakert and Baku, rather than passively supporting the process of ethnic cleansing. The Union officially calls on Paris to 
impose unilateral sanctions against the Baku government for the criminal blockade it has been carrying out for nearly six months, which the International Court of Justice demands to be ended immediately and unconditionally, and to use its logistical and operational resources to lift the blockade in Artsakh in accordance with the principle of responsibility to protect adopted by the UN General Assembly. The organization Francophonie in Artsakh knows that since the establishment of the blockade of Artsakh, the latter has been unable to implement its plans to support the cultural and social economic development of Artsakh, says the press release. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> Ni ne 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 ni 